Hello everyone, in this use case example, we'll see how to build a REST API using AWS Lambda and API Gateway along with the DynamoDB. We'll go over the each of the modules separately along with one working session. Uh, first, we'll start with the API Gateway. Go over to the AWS Management Console and search for API Gateway. Uh, once it's uh, landed into the API gateway, uh, click on create API. I already uh, created one API with the name as vehicle API. Uh, you need to create an API with the rest of protocol. Okay. Once you created the new API with the uh, rest of protocol, you need to go to actions and clear. click on create resource. Once you're done with uh, uh, resource, creating the resource and the resource path, you need to click on create method. Um, before creating the method, we need to complete the uh, creating the lambda function. Uh, now uh, navigate back to management console and click for lambda function. I already opened here. Uh, once you navigated to the lambda function, you need to click on the function and click on create function. I already created one function with the function name as add vehicle and runtime with the Python 3.10. You need to create one. Okay, once uh, you created the function with the name as add vehicle and uh, you need to copy paste the uh, code which I written here, uh, which I mentioned in my blog, In the uh, you can copy and paste the code here. Uh, once uh, creating the function, you need to deploy this function. Okay, once you are done with AWS Lambda, you need to go to the Dynamo uh, DB table. In Dynamo table table, you need to create one table. Uh, uh, I created one table with the name as vehicles uh, and partition key as vehicle ID. Uh, this is because uh, whatever uh, uh, API you are hitting, which will invoke the AWS Lambda function, which will in turn store the data entries in the uh, tables. If you go to explore items, right, um, you will see the table entries here. I select the table name. Uh, these are the entries. Now I'll uh, uh, now I'll show you one more entry. Probably uh, we'll see the one uh, execution and hands-on practice session as well. Uh, now I am going to the API gateway. Okay, and clicking on the post method. If you see the diagram here, uh, this API uh, request uh, which in turn. Uh, uh, hit the integration request which is the uh, lambda function if you see here right in the lambda function we'll be calling the uh, add vehicle the function name lambda function this api request will invoke the add vehicle uh, lambda function this will uh, turn uh, give the response integration response and this will show it to our client okay we'll test uh, one of the api okay i uh, clicked on test and we need to pass the payload since it is a post call. Okay. Okay, I'm adding uh, new type as a truck. If you already seen here in the uh, Dynamo TV, uh, uh, there is a type as bike and scooter. Now adding one more entry as a truck. Uh, going on to uh, API gateway, I'm passing the request payload and clicking on test. Okay, uh, the vehicle is created successfully. We have got 200 message. Okay, now I am going to the uh, Dynamo DB to see the entries. I'm just clicking on the refresh button over here. Okay, it had created uh, me the additional entry, which is a truck entry. Okay. Uh, in order to uh, uh, use this API gateway in the console, right? We need to deploy this API. Okay, once you deploy this API, uh, you need to go to the dashboard. There you will get the endpoint. Okay, you know, just copy uh, the endpoint and go to your Postman tool. Okay, I just copy pasted the endpoint here. Okay, and uh, select the method as post. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
now i added a new entry right what i will make uh, availability i made it as a true now i will make the availability as a false right updating uh, the api now i'm just clicking on send you no need to have any token and all okay you need to copy that uh, invoke url and i need to add the uh, resource path as vehicles okay now vehicle is su created successfully now go on to uh, dynamo db here the vehicle type availability mentioned as two right just click on refresh now it has been changed to a false this is how it will work you can easily build the rest api using aws lambda with uh, api gateway and you can store it in a no sql database uh, dynamo db if you have any questions uh, you can uh, write in email automate with rogaman at uh, gmail.com uh, if you have any doubts also you can put it in the comment section uh, yeah if you like this content please give a thumbs up uh, uh yeah for further videos please subscribe to my channel thanks everyone